Here we go. We've got Foe versus Cookie. This is a matchup that happens every single week at our weekly. Really? Yeah. It, for, like, it's grand finals, like, just about every single week. That's really cool because, like, I love watching Foe play. So I'm kind of excited. And then uh, I saw Yuno playing earlier and was very impressed. Yeah, Yuno is. He's like, he's like 14 years old. He's really, really good. Yeah, um, he probably has some of the most like interesting Fox tech that I've seen. Uh, yeah. As far as Fox players go. He knows everything. It's absolutely crazy. And he'll just start spilling out like frame knowledge and all this stuff that uh, Fox has. He definitely knows his character very, very well. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely a good thing to have. Um, so who usually wins in this matchup? Yeah, it kind of goes back and forth. Okay, more, cool. more recently, it's been Poe, but uh, for a while it was, it was, it was Cookie. Cool. Okay. For a while we had a triangle game where I would beat Cookie, and then Poe would beat me, and then Cookie would beat Poe, <laughs> and now it's just they both beat me. <laughs> it's fun for a while. <laughs> really good back But until you weren't part of the triangle anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now it's not fun anymore. Oh, so that's so cool. So I don't really know the answer to this. So I've seen Fo like very frequently use uh like his um his energy projectile. Not his energy projectile. His, his giant blue ball, right? Yes. Like and he'll just throw this out. Throw that out. Is that to like stop uh momentum? Yeah, yeah, he okay. can uh he can momentum stall off stage and it puts him in a more favorable uh Position so we can tether up. Right. Okay. That's really cool. Uh, I've seen like several Lucas players, and none of them like necessarily do that. That was a pretty bad S match right there. But yeah. Uh, or by uh, you know, but that was a free grab too, just because of it. Yeah. Oh, really good pick there. So this is also kind of interesting. You have a character that's very easily gimped. Off, like both characters are very easily gimped off stage, but one of them's never gonna follow off. Yep. Um. So like both basically can just take all the time in the world to get back to your life. It's true. Because Cookie, if he uh, if he's even with stocks, or uh, really good up here right there, he's really good at reading air dodges. Um, if Cookie is even or behind a stock, he will never go off that. He he will get kind of ballsy as we saw earlier, where he'll go off with the uh, fastball fair. Right. He does like to do that, but uh, he will never do it if he's behind. So. Well, honestly, it's just so risky too. Like all of Fox's like aerials aren't too bad, but once you don't have a stage to fall back on, like that in like horrible. Yeah. Nice get up jab right there. He's yeah. really good with his pivot F tilts. I don't see uh, Thunders doing as as often as he does. They're very different boxes actually. Right. Well, it's always really neat to see this like different like, kind of character diversity. Like yeah. I was watching Blue play earlier, and then like Blue and Foe like play entirely differently as far as like, the yeah. players go. They're very different. Really, um, Great ooh. spacing with these Zairs, by the way. Yeah, I thought that Zair would actually confirm another grab. I, you know, and not so did Foe. Yeah. Oh, is he dead? No, it's probably going to be around like 1.130. I knew it. <laughs> you I know, the moment they start stalling it right next to them, like, yeah. it's heavily apparent. But what else can you do? Like, you can, like, maybe try to, like, grab the ledge, but you've already committed to going on stage. Good side beat. Ooh, really good spot dodge. I think he's starting to let him back. Oh, he's just gonna jab on. Ooh. Oh, slow drops. Okay. Yeah, Fox's jab on shield is actually not that bad. It pushes you pretty far. Really good grab. 73. Uh, maybe. Oh, wow. He didn't do that. Um, maybe an up air from this point could kill for Cookie. I'm pretty sure if uh, Lucas is like at least at like the height of the top platform, the up air will definitely kill. Him. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of how to get him up there. That was a great, uh, that, was really that was a great dash dance, by the way, an extended dash dance. Yeah, that was really That was honestly tall. really incredible, and the fact that he was able to land exactly where he was, like, aiming for it. <gasps> wow. What a read on the run-up F smash. Dude, oh you know, my God. You know, Cookie's, like, he's been really, really crisp. So good. Like, this man will just go wherever he feels like. His movement is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, talk about developed tech, man. It's really nice. The 14-year-old Larry Lair. <laughs> 14 year old Ginger Larry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Larry's gotta be like one of the coolest dudes in this match, dude. Yeah, he is. He is. Alright, dude, so Bo decided to take this back to a stage without platforms. And I think that's kind of interesting because I didn't really see, you know, making use of platforms last week. It's also like, really. Uh, other than the very beginning where he got that like combo string of upwards. Yeah, yeah. It's also really interesting for me, too, because Bo's favorite stage is Battlefield. That was that was really, really cool. weird. There was no way that was intended, but that was really cool. That interaction was crazy. Oh, really good uppers right there. That's so much damage. It's like, a really nice combo. Oh, like. gosh. Oh, and Suck then you know. Yep. Those actually heal more than the damage that they give. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. 
Oh yeah, you gotta be careful. Like if he uh if he does the first two parts of jab and then pops of jabbing, like he's not gonna connect. What? He, said. <laughs> he just gifted him with the yeah yeah that yeah. That was like that was that was kind of silly. It was like watching Snake on my phone. Yeah, that was yeah that was that was yeah. Oh, also equally impressive is uh boxes up here are these uh like air combos. Yeah. Nair has like zero frame. Oh wow! Ooh, man. What a call out! He has like zero frames of end lag on the Nair. He can jab right away, or he can Nair again, like right away. Or he can grab. grab or he can <laughs> grab. <laughs> so, there's just Shit. so many options. Yeah, you know what? Crazy. Like if you start your Nair and you hit that last one, you can do whatever you want, man. Yeah. Like, I honestly don't think Lucas is that bad of a character. Like, it's it's got a lot of stuff you can SD. I don't know why he just kept that was actually, Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny actually. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think the whole argument is like he still like he essentially has a worse neutral than Ness, um, which I think is interesting because like they both play differently. So why would you compare those two? Yeah. Uh, and then I think uh, Lucas has a like, way better recovery. So like you know it's questionable. Yeah. I don't know. I think he's. I think all DLC is good. I don't think there's a bad DLC character. Uh, I think Roy's definitely the weakest. But I mean, as we saw, ooh, wow. really good down smash. He caught the. Bait. Uh, I that was that was one of those moments after Cookie gets the down smash right there and you're forced off stage. Uh -huh. That's the time that he likes to try the fair spike. So I was. Is that yeah, your he might go, oh, right there. I know. Ooh. I know. Oh. Wow. Okay. It's very like slippery interaction between both of them. You just let him normal. Get him. Bo's not really having a presence on on the ledge as he's like ledge guarding. He's really just kind of sitting there. He's not. Um, He's not really forcing his will or anything when when Cookie's off stage, which is something you have to do versus Fox. I think he's having trouble just approaching because like Fox is so slippery. Like every time he gets back on the ledge, like Fox is just moving too quickly for him to be able to punish, and he gets yeah. punished for it. Um, like I guarantee that's why he's not throwing out any grabs right now. Is like even though Fox is running right at him, right? Yeah. Like Fox is just so quick that he can just instantly up smash and he felt like it. That was I, so silly. I expected the that confirm, so and he just silly. waited for him to come down. That's really a, good stuff. That was incredible really, patience by yeah. you know, this entire set, but like right there at the end, right? He, he could have gone for the up air, and he just didn't feel like it. He played so well. I'm